Hi, welcome once again to our general mathematics class. And this afternoon, our topic is all about exponential function. But before we will do that, let us have a short devotional that is written on your module. I want to share with you the story so that you can just directly write the uh, reflection or the moral of the story, moral lesson of the story. This story is about a certain village that is near the Alps, wherein this village has a beautiful river that flows in the middle of it. So many tourists come to visit that small village because of the picturesque river that is flowing in the middle of it. Many establishments or business establishments also are there because tourists are attracted to it. They didn't know that to make that the river beautiful is there a one man or an old man who keep that beautiful river. And that man is considered the keeper of the spring. The keeper of the spring. Few years passed, while everybody is enjoying the river, there came an annual meeting. They had their annual meeting. I know, it's a semi semi annual meeting wherein they have a lot of new members of the village council, a lot of new members present on the village council, and they studied the budget for the coming year. While browsing at the budget of the year, they, a certain person found out that they slashed a very small amount for the keeper of the spring. And then that new member, that very young member, enthusiastic member said, who is this keeper of the spring? They don't know who is the keeper of the spring. So that one man said, let us come to vote that we are going to take out the budget of the keeper of the spring. So they took out the budget of the keeper of the spring. Months passed, nothing happened. The spring or the river that flows into it is very beautiful still. Many tourists are coming. But then autumn came. When autumn came, a lot of dried leaves fall on the ground. And it was visible already on the spring, together with small twigs, a little bit of oil, oil in there. But later on, many, uh, many months passed, you can visible, visibly see that the spring is becoming dirtier and dirtier each day. And the foul smell of the spring is also, uh, what is that, visible to everybody. Then the, the, the animals, the birds who are always present in there started not coming because of the foul smell of that spring. So what the village council did is that they have the emergency meeting. In that emergency meeting, they talk, what happened? What happened like that? And then they found out their grave error and that is slashing out, taking out the budget for the keeper of the spring. So without much ado, they again bring back the keeper of the spring. They put again the old man who is the keeper of the spring. That ends the story. I want you to reflect on it. Give your lesson to it. I will not tell you the lesson, but you are going to make reflections out of the story that I shared with you this afternoon, or this day. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for reminding us that there is great, more greater than us, more knowledgeable than us, and more wiser than us. Help us, Lord, be rem reminded to be humble in all achievements that we've attained and make us worthy to be called your children. As we proceed with our class, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Excuse me? Okay. Now, our topic this afternoon is about exponential function. This one is the first part of the exponential function. I've noticed that if I am going to upload a very long video, an hour video, 
the uploading will take me overnight to do that but last week during my the upload of the intercepts i i mean inverse it took only a few minutes to upload a 17 minute video so today i am going to cut my videos into three parts the first part is evaluating function and the discussion of exponential functions the second part after we evaluate, the second part is that solving the value of x for exponential functions. And the third part is graphing exponential functions. For this week, you have three videos to watch. But remember, that is just piece by piece of a one hour or more video. Okay? Now, let us try. Exponential function. What is an exponential function? This is a different kind of functions of the previous functions that you've learned. Because the value of x of the previous functions that you've learned is found on the base. This time, the x value is found on the exponent. Exponent already. B represents any number. So, this is the difference of the three. When you say exponential function, you do f of x, that's a function, equals b to the power of x. So the exponent now is the value of x. Unlike before, the value of x is found on the base. In linear function, the exponent has a degree of 1. In quadratic, the exponent has a degree of 2. Polynomial, the exponent has a degree of n or 3 more. That is polynomial functions. But this time, the x is found in the exponent. For exponential equation, you change f of x to y equals b of x. Same thing. But for inequality, of course, you use this inequality symbols. Example, 2 to the power of x is lesser than or equal to 3. And then you are going to solve for the value of x. That is for the difference between the three. Now let us recap your junior high laws of exponent, the law of exponent. You, I think you have uh, come up with this one already, but let me share with you the most important is number three, number four. Number three and number four because we always use that. For number three, any number, any number b raised to the power of zero is always equal to 1. So, bahala nag 1 million to the power of 0, it is always equal to 1. And if the exponent is negative, if the exponent is negative, you are going to put that on the denominator so that the exponent becomes positive. And if the denominator's exponent is negative, then you transfer that one to the numerator to make the exponent positive. So for this one, of course, if two bases are equal, you add exponents. If you, it is kind of, there is parentheses, with two exponents, you multiply. And like this one, if the numerator and denominator are enclosed in a parenthesis, you distribute the exponent. Okay? So, please be reminded, as I've said, we will always use these two. Now, that is just the introduction of exponential function. Let us proceed to evaluating functions. When you evaluate functions, you are just going to substitute. Substitute the value of x as given to the given value of equation. Like example, this one. 4 to the power of x, I have 3 values of x's, therefore you have 3 solutions for that. 3 solutions, and we are going to solve that one. Let us try. For the first, if x is equal to negative 2, how are you going to solve or evaluate that one? First, change that to y form equals, I will put a b and c y equals 4 to the power of x and since that is negative 2 you write 
4 to the power of negative 2. Remember, if the exponent is negative, you are going to bring it down, place it down, and simplify as well. So that is 1 over 4 squared, or what is 4 squared? 16. So 1 over 16. Therefore, this is the answer of the first. X is equal to negative 2. Now, let's proceed to the second one. X equals to 3. If X is equal to 3, so Y equals to 4 to the power of 3. Because X is equal to 3. I did not copy the problem anymore. I just directly solved it. And since that is 4 to the power of 3, do not say 4 times 3. That is wrong. Kinisadha, you will not do 4 times 2. It is 4 squared or 4 times 4. In this case, when you say 4 times 3, that is 4 times 4 times 4. Katuluon mo ang 4. Or 4 raised to the power of 3. 4 times 4, that is 16. Times 4, the answer is 64. That is correct. The answer is 64. On the last, 1 half. The exponent now is 1 half. So that becomes 4, uh, I mean y, is equal to 4 to the power of 1 half. Remembering your basic exponential functions or equations that you have learned, exponents, if it is 4, Raised to the power of 2, this is considered the base, and this is the exponent, base or exponent. But then, if there is a fractional exponent, example, 4 to the power of 1 half, this is still the base, but this time has different values. This one is the exponent, and this one is the index. Another term for base, since we already have the index, that is for radicals. Radicals. This is considered the radicand. The radicand. So, if you are going to make that, since that is if index is 2 or squared, Index is 2 is squared, so you do 4. Square root of 4. The answer is square root of 4. This is the radicand. The radicand or the base. In here is the exponent in which I did not write since it is just 1. So just 4. And in here is the index in which I also did not write because... If there is a radical sign, it is directly square, square root. So you don't need to write if it's a square. But if it's a cube or a fourth root, then put the cube or the fourth root number over here. So square root of 4. In this case, since that is 4 to the power of 1 half, so that is square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. I will change this one to three, uh, two third, so that you will have a uh, comparison. Comparison. Now, any questions? Save that one during our Zoom meeting. Let us start with the second one. Second, two to the power of x plus one. You are going to evaluate the three. So let's start with the first. That is y change equals 2 raised to the power of 0 plus 1 because that's 0. So 0 plus 1, do the operation in the exponent. 2 to the power of 1, the answer is 2. Okay? Now, second is 2. Uh, I mean 1. It's 1. So same thing, substitute. 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 1. 2 squared, the answer is 
four. And the last, two thirds. Y is equal to two raised to the power of two thirds plus one. Of course, you cannot do that one directly since the other one is a whole number and the other one is a fraction. So make sure that they have the same denominator. Uh, going back to adding fractions. Remember, how will you add a fraction and a whole number? So it is 2, 3, that is 3, 3 divided by 3 times 2, it's 2, 3 divided by 1, 3 plus 1 times 1, I'm sorry, 3 divided by 1 times 1, it is still 3. So that becomes 2 to the power of 5 over 3. But again, that is not the answer. Because it is 5 over 3. There is a fractional exponent in there. And to get the answer, you need to change that one to a radical sign. Radical. So for this, 5 here represents exponent and 3 represents the index. So, since this is 3, therefore it's a cube root. Cube root of 2 to the power of 5. Cube root of 2 to the power of 5. If I will ask you to simplify, actually, this is not finished yet. If I will ask you to simplify 2 to the power of 5, kinahalan, it must be groups of 3 para makagawa sa radical sign. So you do cube root. How many twos are there? Five. So two, three, four, five. The answer is cancel to low since that is cube root. The was is a cube root of pilay bilay. Four. So the answer is two cube root of four. This is the final answer. Okay? Now, you can start answering your activity on the first part because the first part is all about evaluating functions. Thank you. Do not go because the next video will soon follow. I will just erase this one and let us do solving exponential functions. Bye.